carry out the supreme sacrifice. We must have blood, and he is ready to die. Let them drink. Our sisters are impatient. You've seen the girl chosen as my successor? Yes, Majesty. And likewise, I have seen on her skin the mark that identifies her. The dark vampire. She is truly lovely, O oh Queen. Her beauty rivals yours. She will be a deserving successor. Tomorrow's her birthday. She'll be 21. And we all know the prophecy says that she is to stand in your august presence here when the ceremony starts, O oh Queen. In a very few moons, I am to terminate my reign. It is written that I am to return to the depths of the Dark Dominion. If you fail me again, my vengeance will know no limits. Hear us, O Queen, who rules the night. Sovereign of the Vampire Women. I shall not fail this time, I promise you.
God's name, I order you to disappear. Against him and his power, you are nothing. Fine, at last you got here, Samson. I came as soon as I got your message, Professor. What's going on? I think you'll recall that for years now, I've been translating these crumbling old parchments here. They belong to my ancestors, and in which they announce the tragic destiny that awaits my daughter, Diana. No, I haven't forgotten. Tomorrow's the day, Professor. Diana's about to become of age. Have you found anything that will help? An important clue that could be used to stop those monsters when they try to take her? I studied it, Samson. But the things I found out are not encouraging, and I fear that there's no hope for her. Here they affirm that according to the apocalypse, we're living at a time when things are perfect for the resurrection of monsters here on Earth. Since men are bent on wrecking destruction upon the world today, they'll heed their selfish desires and use the tremendous power that nature has given us. Yes, nuclear energy. But there's something worse than what I mentioned just now. I spoke to you about that strange and extraordinary lad who saved Rebecca's life. The documents say that he also would have a descendant. An outstanding young man of enormous strength, destined to hide his identity under a silver-colored mask, Samson. That extraordinary young man is obviously you. But I should tell you something else. According to the prophecies, even you might fail trying to protect Diana. All the evil they can muster is against you in this thing, and so you might be killed attempting to save my daughter. Nevertheless, I have to continue. I have to go on the way my ancestors did to eliminate evil of all kinds. And human vampires are monsters that can never expose themselves to direct daylight. Surely they use a hideout of some kind as a refuge. And there possibly we could surprise and destroy them. I know. It could be that these symbols here refer to their hideout. But in spite of all my efforts, Samson, I fail trying to decipher their hidden meaning. But I'll be ready for anything, so don't worry. You're coming to the party to protect Diana, aren't you? No, Professor. I have other plans. But I'll be responsible for Diana's safety. my instructions. No one is to enter this house without an invitation. Very well, sir. Are you feeling ill? There, I was dizzy. Let's sit down, please. My poor girl's happy. Just watch her face. She, of course, doesn't suspect that tonight could be really tragic for her. Don't worry so much about her, Professor. Why do you think we're here? We'll stop any attack that they could begin.
Now hide them. In a little while, we'll be back. Now do you feel better? Mm -hmm. Please excuse the question, but... Uh, she okay then? I don't know, but she's very pretty. Until now, nothing's happened, has it? Have a drink, Professor. Give me a cognac, please. Capture her! Hurry, Inspector!
We heard shots from this direction. Is anything wrong, Inspector? Nothing, nothing. You can go now. Chief, I saw two corpses in the garden. Just a moment. Not a word about the things you saw here in the garden tonight. Or they'll put us in the booby hatch, I'm sure of that. That's exactly what we were thinking. Tell the jailers to free that little officer that informed us about the flying vampire. And call for an ambulance, too. Right, Chief. Come on, boys. I never would have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Now you know why I hesitated to explain it to you. Don't you have the slightest idea where to find the hideout that these creatures are living in? This is the residence of Professor Roloff. Yes. For you, Charles. Thank you. Yes. I'm the inspector. Go ahead. All right. I'll be there later. Another pair was attacked at the same spot as last night. They'd been in the nightclub also. The poor girl was killed and they found the same small holes in her neck. Her escort was kidnapped. Now that's an idea. The crimes that were committed there these last two nights could furnish us with a clue. It's evident that they used that area to attract their victims in some way. I think we'll have to play all our cards this time. It will be morning pretty soon. But tomorrow night we'll go to that nightclub and we'll take Diana with us. Are you out of your mind?